Hello everybody, George Kenner. Great to see you back again. We're gonna cover a little bit more of my progress with the Aon Mira Pro 7 60 watt laser. I bought this as a hobby, it's not a business, um, and I wanna show people what I've done. In my last video, I made some wooden boxes that were called problem boxes. The idea was to stick something inside it, a written problem, and then put it in a fireplace and burn it. I got a lot of response on those. Several of my friends are now have problem boxes sitting on their desk. They run into a problem, they're gonna take care of business. But after doing wooden paper and even some cardboard, what I decided to do was I wanted to go to glass. So I took the roller that actually comes with the device and I set it up, I, I lowered my table on the mirror, I got it all set up, and I had a little bit of a problem. It's one of the first times I've had to get a hold of customer support. Here's what happened. I had the settings wrong. They came into my computer, they found out that I had a Y swap error that kept appearing, and it was because I hadn't centered my origin. Now, all of these glasses that you see back here, these were all projects that I did and I'll try and show you some of these. This one, it has a little saying on the back of it. Someone, one of my friends gave it to me. It says, God pulled you out of the pit so you could go back and get more people out. Never forget that. They came up with the graphics, had the idea. Basically, it's a custom gift. Now, as I've said before, um, things that are political, religious, or personalized, sell. Those are the things that people come to me with. So if you're thinking about buying one of these and you're wanting to recoup your money, you, that's probably the type of thing that you're going to get um, requests for. Now these, one of these, this is a, um, a, a man golfing and on the front of this it's a man with a golf ball and on the back it says, I lost my balls in Yuma. Now he's having a New Year's party and he wants everybody to have one of these glasses. He brought me the glasses, I engraved them up for him, he's got to come over, there's a little deburring that's going to have to be done and he has got about 40 glasses for all of his friends. I took and wanted to be able to make it so that he had a way to transport him around the facility where he's having the party. So what I did was I got some plywood. Now these are two pieces. I cut this on the um, on on this machine also. So all I did was I take these, I cut them, I cut them, I'll glue them together, and then I can pick them up as an entire piece, and then they can be transported. Now, if you were trying to do this in a store environment, this would probably be a good idea. It keeps them apart from one another and allows for an easy inventory. And again, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show people, this is my hobby, but there's a commercial application for these and you could probably pretty easily recoup your money. Um, as I cut this out, I came to realize that I needed these holes to be a certain diameter. Now guess what? This is a coaster, fits right in there. So now I have a template. I took this template, it was going to be a scrap piece of wood, and conver I converted the wood to a template. These were some of the pieces that I cut out. All I did was put an image on it. Now I have coasters that will match the glasses. And when I give him a couple of these, he's just gonna go crazy. He's really gonna like it. One of my followers, and I have a Facebook group called Laser Freedom. One of my followers and an old friend of more than 20 years, she loves elephants. Well, as I was cutting the holes for these, I decided why not make her some coasters with some, some elephants on it. So these are very lightly done. I think they'll look really good out on her patio. And um, she's gonna get those in the mail here pretty soon. I did another one that is more of a religious tone and I'm not going to um, quote it. Maybe I'll put a picture of it at the end, but this is what's called circuitous logic. You start reading it, you read the middle part, you come back to the, the beginning, you read it all again. So um, what else have I been doing? Oh, I always talk about um, journaling. 
This is a book I just read. I bought this about three and a half years ago. It was written by Napoleon Hill. It was something that he, it was a course that he manufactured and actually sold to trade schools in like 1928. And this came out before Think and Grow Rich. Now, a lot of people out there use life coaches or they use business coaches. This was a $65 hardbound book. I would so highly recommend this um, to anyone. There is a quote in here from a gentleman, I believe it was an attorney, and he said that this book was more valuable than his Yale education. I'm telling you, if I knew a kid in high school that was you know, struggling a little bit and really wanted to do better, I would get him this book. It is really a course. I'm gonna put a link to this um, in my Amazon influencer store. So if anybody wants to look it up or um, you know, get the contacts, it'll be in the influencer store with a link down in the comments. Now this is a wine bottle and I, I suggest everybody that if they're starting on doing this, if you get your wine bottles, you can take them by a cork and just type on here um, or engrave on here, olive oil or balsamic vinegar, um, put a graphic on it. But if you're thinking of buying one of these, you can look to things that are free to actually manufacture products out of. It's really um, something that you can start doing now. Uh, what else? One of my friends, I did something for him and they gave me what's called a challenge coin. Now this one actually comes from the Department of Justice. It's probably pretty collectible coin. Um, very, you know, I do nice things, people do nice things for me. I encourage you to do nice things for other people. If you're nice to other people, they're going to be nice back, or at least the vast majority of the time they will be. So I, I really like these. And I wish that I could engrave metal. But a CO2 laser or a diode laser is not going to give you that effect. Well, Aeon Laser, they ran a special where if you bought certain CO2 lasers, that they would give you a fiber laser. Well, I've been looking for fiber lasers. Now, right here, and again, link in the Amazon store, these are brass coins. I'm going back to AI. And probably the start of the first week of January. And it's my understanding they're gonna have an Aeon laser there, and they have a few smaller machines um, to do comparisons on. So I've got a trip planned to Florida. I'm gonna stop in there for a few days. I also need to talk to Alicia Spector. She was the salesperson that helped me. I was actually going to buy a bigger machine than, than this. And she pointed out to me for what I really wanted to do at the time, this was a better machine. It saved me a few thousand dollars. Now, eh, where do you think I'm getting the money to buy, <laughs> buy this with, uh, buy the fiber laser with? Uh, I, it's something that I'm you know, really excited about doing. And to be able to make a challenge coin, I think would be really cool. You could even make, and start a business, call it Coin of the Month Club. And you know, manufacture coins with a fiber laser, which is a much smaller machine than something like this. Literally, you don't need that big a workshop for a fiber laser. So as that develops, I will share it, but I'm gonna go back for, uh, I'll call it the, the Aeon, Aeon Experience 2. Why do I have a problem saying Aeon Aeon? One of the other things is, Alicia's tried to get me to consider being a partner. Now, what does a partner mean? If you go to their website, down at, the, down at the bottom of the website, they have a partnership program. Some people like to watch YouTube influencers, which I guess I am one, because I'll share what I bought, and they will give a referral fee if somebody buys one. Now, I haven't committed to doing that yet. Uh, and when I say yet, it's like, what damage could it do? I'm still gonna share the same information. As a matter of fact, at the end of the video, I'm gonna start putting some of my settings from my Lightburn program is the closing screens. So if you're curious how I set up the machine to do these etches, what the, the speed and power was, um, I'm going to put those up so that you can literally stop and see the settings that I used. That's one of the hardest things to master, is to make sure you're starting at the right place in power, strength, and speed um, on your laser. Other than that, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. I love my Mira 7. 
Um, if you have any questions, I put my email address in all of the videos and um, down in the description. So if you've got a question, by all means, email me. I did get one from somebody. They asked me um, about which machine I would buy. Here's what I told them. If you can go to the experience, go. Eon has all of the machines that I would call industry-based in this size. They've got the Boss, the Thunder, an Epilogue. Go down and look. It's not important that you believe me. When you go down there with your own eyes and see the difference, you're going to make the decision for the machine that's best for you. But you can go look. And I'm gonna try and give some more information on the other um, machines that weren't there last time and maybe go into a little bit more detail. I'm gonna get a couple of days um, down in Melbourne and I'm really looking forward to it. Any questions, please let me know. I wish you all the best. And you know what? You can all do this. It's not that hard um, to do. I did this. I started with paper. I've gone to glass. Now I'm going to try and jump over with a fiber laser because it runs off the same program, Lightburn. So once you master the program, it's a couple of more screens, a few different settings. And next thing you know, you have a very nice three-dimensional carved coin and something that is of value. If you could customize these with, say, a photo or something like that on them, how much would somebody pay for that? Look at the price of these blanks down in my Amazon store. I wish you the best. Thank you. Mm -hmm.